After all the rumours, speculation and counter-rumours as the calendar turns from June to July, the transfer window officially opens, having previously been restricted to domestic deals only. Liverpool have of course already met their primary objective of acquiring a new centre-back by agreeing a £36 million deal to sign Ibrahim Akanate from RB Leipzig. So where do the Reds look next? Well first up, there's midfield. The departure of Genie Wijnaldum, for some, has left a hole in the Liverpool midfield. Renato Sanchez, off the back of another impressive Euros, is one name to tipped to fill it, but given the overall cost of a deal to bring him to Anfield combined with the status he'd command in the squad, for now he's deemed too expensive. Jurgen Klopp is a huge admirer of Aston Villa talisman John McGinn, but that seems as far as Liverpool's interest will go for this summer. German international Florian Neuhaus is another of interest, but that called, as demonstrated by the Reds not triggering his release clause at the end of May, Porto's Otavio falls into a similar boat, having seen his release clause jump from 35 to 52 million pounds in the blink of an eye. But there are still others on the red shortlist, with tabs being kept on Brighton and Hove Albion's Yves Basuma, while a longer term option may well be Ajax and Netherlands 19-year-old Ryan Gravenberg. And then it's on to the forward line. Liverpool will only bolster the forward line should any of the current squad pursue an exit that meets their asking price. Both Harry Wilson and Jordan Shakiri have strong interest, while Liverpool could also be open to offers for both Divock Origi and Takumi Minamino. Harvey Elliott at 18 is an option, but won't be expected to shoulder too much responsibility as he continues his development. Pats and Dacca, though, for one, won't be arriving. Despite non-stop links to Anfield, he's already signed for Leicester City. And reports of interest in by Munich's Kingsley Coman and Daniel Marlin of PSV at present seem to be coming from their representatives as opposed to anything concrete from Anfield. Officially, though, the transfer window has only just opened. The clock, though, is ticking to complete their summer dealings. 